It was an icy day on the island of Sodor. The engines were working very hard. They didn't mind the cold because they had toasting hot fireboxes to keep them warm. That evening, the Fat Controller came to the shed. There's a big freeze coming tonight, he said. James and Percy are to deliver extra coal to the stations. Yes, sir, they said eagerly, and the Fat Controller drove away. You'd better hurry, teased Thomas, or scary Jack Frost might get you. Who's Jack Frost? Percy whistled nervously. Don't be silly, sniffed James. Jack Frost is not scary. Yes, he is, teased Thomas. He's all white with a big spiky face. Rubbish, said James. James knew Jack Frost wasn't scary, but poor Percy wasn't so sure. Percy shivered. Jack Frost is not scary. Jack Frost is not scary. Jack Frost is not scary. Meanwhile, James puffed along his route. Silly Percy, he thought. All steamed up over Jack Frost. Percy made his last delivery. The station master was very pleased to see him. Oh, Percy, he cried. We need twice as much coal to last through this freeze. Don't worry, Percy said. This is my last stop. You can have mine. So Percy's driver parked him in a siding with only a lantern for company. Do you think scary Jack Frost will find me? said Percy. Jack Frost's not scary, chuckled his driver. And don't worry, Elizabeth will bring you some more coal in the morning. And then his driver and fireman went home to bed. Late at night, the icy wind howled. It started to snow. Soon, Percy's face was so cold an icicle hung from his nose. Oh, b b bother Percy stuttered, but it didn't sound like Percy. It was so cold he could hardly make a sound. At last, James was on his way back to the sheds. In the fog, he saw shadows and strange and scary shapes. Scary Jack Frost, he whispered nervously. Pa! Hello, J J James, muttered Percy icily. Scary Jack Frost, cried James, and he raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. He didn't stop until he got back to the sheds. The next morning, Elizabeth brought plenty of coal. Oh, my dear, Elizabeth chuffed to Percy. It looks like Jack Frost really got you then. The firelight has started Percy's fire. Soon, his ice mask melted away. So scary Jack Frost is only Frost, tooted Percy happily. And soon, he was as warm as toast. When Percy arrived at the sheds, James was bragging to the other engines. I saw Scurdy Jack Frost last night, James huffed. He even knows my name. He also knows that you ran away, teased Percy. And all the engines whistled, including James. But Percy's was the loudest whistle of all.